Champions for Learning 8th grade Take Stock in Children application. This presentation is to help guide you and provide you instructions on how to fill out and complete the application. This application will be open August 10th through October 20th. The program eligibilities are must be a Collier County Public School student, must have a 2.5 GPA, must have good attendance, must have good behavior, must be a U.S. citizen, permanent resident, or eligible non-citizen, the student must have a social security number, and the student must qualify under one of the options. The student must qualify for free and reduced lunch, or the student must have HUD income eligibility based on 2022 tax return claimed by the parent. The student must have Medicaid documentation from DCF or be receiving SSI benefits. The student must be receiving SNAP benefits or TANF benefits and must provide that documentation. The core elements of the Take Stock in Children program provides mentorship, college and career preparation, and provides one-on-one -on -one college and career coaching. In order to apply for this scholarship opportunity, you must log on to Champions for Learning TSIC.awardspring.com. This website will bring you to the application dashboard. In this dashboard, you will go ahead and make an account. You will have to select under register. Registering your account will ask you for your name, your last name, an email address and a password. Please make sure that you write down your email address and password so that you can return to this application if needed. As a reminder, when making an account, it is the student's name and the student's last name, not the parent's name. If for whatever reason, when you register for an account, you accidentally put your parent's name please feel free to send me an email and I will go ahead and fix that for you. An account, you will log back in and this is what your screen will look like. You will be able to see your dashboard, your scholarship and your application. Once you have started your application, you will be able to see this dashboard and it will show if your application is complete what the percentage of the application is completed, or if there is any follow-up items that will also come up on here. This screen will allow you to see if you have finalized everything. As mentioned before, you will, you will be able to see the scholarships. If you click on the scholarships tab, it will bring you to the Take Stock in Children application. It will let you know when the deadline is and it will provide you any other necessary information upon clicking on it. On the Take Stock in Children application, you will be provided an overview. The overview will provide you with the necessary information about what the Take Stock in Children is about. As a reminder, the Take Stock in Children application is open for Collier County Public School students. The student must be committed to staying drug and crime free. They must maintain a 2.5 GPA or a C or above in all courses. They must attend school regularly. Regularly, They must have good behavior in school and they must be able to volunteer in the community. There are also other requirements that are involved. This includes coming in for workshops, in person at our Champions for Learning facility. Scholarship opportunity will 
also have other requirements that will be discussed later on if the student is selected. If the student is selected for our program, they will be provided a mentor. Upon completion of our program, the student will receive a Florida prepaid two-year state tuition scholarship. Now continuing to the application. This is what your application will look like. Once you open up or click on the tab that says application, you will be able to see all our tabs that are required that need to be completed in order to submit the application. The guidelines will walk you through how you meet the program eligibility. This will break it down for you and let you know what is the eligibility that you must meet in order to qualify for this opportunity. As a reminder, please make sure that you complete the application entirely. Each, applic each application section must be completed. There is a progress bar in the dashboard as shown be below. When you have been navigating through each of the sections, it will allow you to see if you have completed that section. Please make sure that each section is completed because then you will not be able to submit the application. If you go down on this page, you will be able to see the program eligibility guidelines. This will bring up a flyer for you so that you can see what the income requirements are for free and reduced lunch and what your income requirements are for HUD. We have broken it down into a chart so you can see it based on household size. If you have any questions during the application process or if you are having any troubles, as mentioned before, please feel free to reach out to me. My information is on the application. My name is Jessica Perez, and you can send me a quick email or you can even call me. It must select one of the statuses that applies to them. Either the student is receiving free and reduced lunch, a HUD, Medicaid or SSI, student is receiving SNAP benefits, please make sure that you select one of those statuses because it will give you the option to upload important documents that we need to confirm eligibility. Please make sure you select and you click and then it will give you the option as seen below to upload a file. Please also make sure that you upload a copy of the student's birth certificate or passport. There's other options there as well to include permanent resident card. Please also make sure that you provide a copy of social security card. This will allow us to confirm the program eligibility. Please know that this is a safe site and nobody else has access to this information besides myself. Documents, you move on to the next section. As a reminder, you can finish the application and all necessary essays or questions, and then you can upload the documents later. However, just so that you know and you keep track of what needs to be done, I would recommend to just go tab by tab. So please make sure that you upload then you can move on to the student um, information. In this section, you're going to upload all the student's information to include the student ID number, the middle school, first name, last name, and all necessary information. Please make sure that you scroll all the way down to fill out all areas. This is the student's information information this is where you will find the household information in this household information you will see the parents first and last name the Social Security which is optional you will also be providing the parents phone number the parents email please make sure that you fill out all necessary information with 
an alternative email than the email that was put into registering for an account because if we need to get a hold of you we usually send out an email to the account email and an email to the parents as a reminder please make sure that you scroll all the way down to fill out all necessary information this um, section will also provide you with the option to put one parent down and then you have the option to put a second parent the parent one in this section is the parent that has the student as a dependent on their tax returns, SNAP benefits, HUD, or so on. Section, this is where the parent's occupation, employer, years at current employer will be needed to be input. Please make sure, once again, to scroll all the way down to fill out all necessary information. Again, you do not have to put in information that says optional. However, if it does not give you that option, please make sure you complete it in its entirety. Financial information. This is where we will ask you your household income. Please make sure that the household income that is jotted down in this application is the 2022 tax return income. This will help us streamline the application and make sure that we are not missing any information that would allow you to qualify for the program. Please make sure you check off if you are eligible for any food stamps, Medicaid, or etc. And please make sure you check off everything. Part. This part is the part where the student must fill out and answer essay questions. This part of the application is for the student to be able to talk about their accomplishments, their goals, their dreams, their aspirations. Please make sure that the student is the one filling out this section. This is when the essays are very important because we send those essays to a selection committee that reviews those essays and scores the student. This is a time for the student to show off. So please students show off. Make sure that you are checking your grammar when you are submitting these essays. Please take your time. Please make sure that you are following the instructions on this section because there are sections that will ask you for one or two sentences. There's section questions that will ask you for a certain amount of paragraphs. So please make sure you pay attention to what the question is asking you and how to respond by meeting those requirements because that helps you in the selection process. And again, it lets us know who you are because when and if you are selected for interviews, because we will have interviews, our selection committee will review your essays and get to know you and compare those essays to who you are when you are doing those interviews. So please make sure you take your time. This is when the login information is important because if you want to come back to it and come back in a clear mind, you can do so and log back in. Just make sure that you log back in and you complete all necessary information. Again, talk about yourself. We want to know who you are. We want to hear about it. So please take your time with these questions. Parent, this section provides the parent the opportunity to talk about their student and how this program opportunity can benefit their student for their future. Please, this is the section that is to be filled out by the parent, not the student. So just like before, the student needed to fill out that section, not the parent. Now it's the parent's turn. So please make sure that the parent is filling this out. We understand there's some language barriers at times where the, where the parent does not speak English and cannot write in English. However, you can write in Spanish 
or a different language and we can have we can have translators translate that for us so that we can give that to the selection committee so please make sure that the parent is comfortable to write essays and can talk the student please again be aware that we can translate whatever the parent has written down we just want to hear from the parent why this would benefit the student so please do not feel intimidated that your parent does not write english we can completely translate that and it is available for you to write in the language that you are most comfortable with our last section and this is this um, consent for release of educational information this is to be completed by the parent again this is to be completed by the parent not the student you're gonna go ahead and click on the link that's provided below and you're gonna go ahead and download the student records release form you're gonna go ahead and download that and make sure you complete it you date it add the student's name this will allow us access to the students grades their attendance records or anything that is for educational purposes only so that we can verify that they meet the program eligibility once you have filled out that form you will go ahead and upload it please remember that the good thing about this application process is that you can take a picture on your phone and submit this however we do ask that you try to submit this application on a computer because it is easier but you can surely log on to your phone and snap a quick picture of all the download all the documents that are um, needed for this application of each section please make sure and verify that everything shows that it is completed you will go ahead and look at every section every tab and must show that it is completed again you must show that it is completed or if there's anything there that is not being completed you will not be allowed to submit the application here if there is a section that is not complete you will not be able to submit this application and it will be in a gray box. If the application is complete, it will look this yellow orange color and you will be able to submit it. Please make sure that every section is complete. Every essay is written correctly with your grammar checks from the student section that the parent has filled out everything that is needed. Please make sure that the tax return is from the 2022 tax return with the student as a dependent or any other information that pertains to your eligibility that the student is the recipient and is receiving those services in order to qualify for this program flyer information here on this presentation so you can review the max income for the 20, 2022 taxes and the hud income eligibility based on the 2022 taxes if there is any questions please feel free to send me an email my name is jessica perez you can send me an email at student applications at championsforlearning.org or you can give me a call at 239-434-3203. As a reminder, this application is open until October 20th. However, if you could please do so, fill out this application before the deadline because I will go ahead and reach out to you in case I have any questions, in case I have any concerns, or if I see something that's missing. So the sooner that you submit this application, the sooner that I can get to you so that you can send me any documents that are needed in order for you not to miss the deadline. Again, my name is Jessica Perez. Thank you so much for your time and I am excited for this opportunity for our eighth grade students.